Hey everyone, I'm Shireen from My Pain Center. Hey, I wanna give you guys three quick tips on how to have a positive experience with Delta 8. Delta 8 can be life-changing. It can provide you a lot of benefits if you use it correctly. If you don't use it correctly, for example, or you, and it's not even that you didn't use it correctly, but maybe you took too much that your body needed, you could end up feeling high, stoned, paranoid, anxious, dry mouth, red eye. And if you're not expecting those, then you may be hesitant to ever try Delta 8 again. And that would make me really sad because Delta 8 could be super beneficial to you in your life. And because you had a bad experience, you're not gonna try it again. So I'm gonna try to give you three tips that will help you hopefully have a better experience with Delta 8, okay? Now, if you're wondering what is Delta 8, I have a separate video on that, so go check that out. Okay, so tip number one to having a good experience with Delta 8. One, start small. Start small, ease into it. Don't just jump into the rabbit hole. And what do I mean by this? Okay, most Delta 8 gummies are about 25 milligrams. You could see a range. There's some 10 milligrams, some 50, some 100. 25 seems to be the average. The suggested dosage on most gummy bear bottles says take one. However, that doesn't mean you have to take one. You could take less than one. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to take a knife and I want you to chop up that gummy bear, okay? Whether you chop it up in half, in fourths, in eighths, in tenths, I want you to chop it up. I would like you to start as small as you can, okay? So I would like you to go less than a half and less than a fourth if you can. Why do I say this? you might not need all 25 milligrams of Delta-8 to get the effect or relief that you are looking for. And 25 milligrams, even though it is the suggested dosage, could be too strong for you. And if it is too strong for you, you are going to have a bad experience with Delta-8. So that is why I want you to start really small, okay? Now, when I say start really small, I want you to write down how much you're taking on that day and then wait 24 hours before adding any more to the amount that you then took. So why do I say this? Okay, it can take up to two hours for food to digest in your body. So that's the same thing with Delta-8. It takes time to digest in your body. So what I don't want you to do is start with a little sliver of Delta-8 and then say to yourself in 10, 20 minutes, it's not doing anything. And then take another sliver and then be like, oh my God, it's still not doing anything. And then take another sliver. And then by the time you know it, it's been an hour and you've taken all 25 milligrams, even though I said not to, and now you are high and stoned and paranoid and anxious and you are hating Delta eight. So that is why I'm saying, just take a little bit on day one and then keep adding every day, not every hour, every day to see where it is that you are getting the relief from Delta 8. Like what is your maximum? Because again, if you don't need all 25, then don't all use all 25 and then you're going to save money because that bottle is going to last you even longer. I do that. I now cut up my gummies because I realize I don't need all 25. So I cut up my gummies and it lasts me so much longer. It's great. Okay. A couple other things to remember. So one, start small. Two, again, make sure you are not taking more every 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes because it's not working. Just give it the whole 24 hours and write it down and then the next day add to it. Three, if you're a weed smoker, like you are comfortable with marijuana, you've been using it a long time, you feel like you know what's happening, I would still, 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 still urge you to start small because you don't know how it's going to impact your body, especially if you're not used to taking edibles because you smoke weed or maybe you do eat weed edibles it, you never know something could just it could hit you differently right the terpenes or the profiles or whatever of the delta eight could hit you differently so again start small i would also say tip number two make sure you eat something with delta eight okay you need something in your stomach to help you digest the delta eight gummy it's like drinking if you drink alcohol or drink beer drink liquor you know that if you drink on an empty stomach you get wasted a lot faster and so you might be used to that because in college or even now you're trying to save money right so you maybe you don't eat when you're going out drinking and then you get wasted really fast and then people are like eat carbs eat carbs eat carbs drink water drink water drink water same thing with delta 8 you want to have something in your stomach or it is going to hit you really really hard so like i said i cut up all my gummy bears now but there are times when i take a take the gummy bear that i've cut up and i haven't eaten and then i'm like ooh, should have eaten and then i gotta go and eat something right so definitely eat something okay and then tip number three take your delta 8 in a safe environment I would highly suggest that be your house, apartment, wherever you're living. Take it somewhere that if you do start feeling any negative symptoms, you can sit down, you can relax, you can put your feet up, you can take a nap, you can get access to food, you can get access to water, okay? I do not, do not, do not want you to take Delta 8. Don't go to a vape store 
at the cash register while you're buying it, pop one, or when you get in your car, pop one. Don't, don't pop one while you're driving. Don't pop one while you're operating heavy machinery. Don't pop one while you're driving, like I said, because if you get pulled over and the police thinks that you're on something, they could, they could arrest you for being under the influence, right? So just be very careful. And that's why I really want you to only use Delta 8 in, in a safe space, like your house, right? Um, so again, to repeat, I want you to have a really good experience with Delta 8. So one, start small. You do not eat, have to eat that whole gummy bear. S cut it up into pieces, slivers. If it's a 100 milligram gummy, I mean, you're gonna cut it into little, 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 little tiny pieces, okay? And two, don't, or it's not even two, but don't increase your dosage on the hour every few minutes. Just let it ride its course for the day, and then the next day you can add more if you feel like you need to add more, okay? Because remember, it takes up to two hours for Delta 8 to digest through your body, and if you had a really heavy meal, it could take even longer than that. So just give it time. Make sure you've eaten something, um, again, because it's like, it could be, it, it could hit you harder if you're eating a Delta 8 gummy on an empty stomach. And then tip number three, eat your Delta 8 gummy in a safe space like your house. Do not be driving or operating heavy machinery. Okay. If you have any questions about Delta 8, drop them down below and I'll get to you. Thank you.